Pure. It's your boy KJ. You see what I mean? And I'm back with another week. Well, I'm not going to keep the intro long. I'm not going to do none of that. So I just want to tell you what it's about. It's about the girl called named Carly Russell. I mean, she was never kidnapped. Remind she from Alabama. I'm from Alabama too, though. So she called in a fake police report saying that she was kidnapped. She was she the kid on the side of the highway. And, Second or third, but I'm gonna let y'all hear the video and get into it. Good afternoon. Thanks to everyone for attending again today. I want to thank the members of our department and all of law enforcement who played a role in the investigation of this case. Last Wednesday, July 19th, we held a press conference and provided you with the facts of the Carly Russell disappearance. We told you the investigation was ongoing. And we hope you determine. It reminds you, she wasn't never kidnapped though. But thing is, she, I guess where she was, her neighbor seen her walking in her neighborhood. It's a thing. But it's crazy. I remember where Cardi was during the 49 hours of her disappearance. That I have talked to and received a statement from Mr. Emery Anthony, attorney for Cardi Russell. Mr. Anthony has scheduled a meeting for Cardi to meet with investigators early this afternoon, but then I received an email stating that a statement was being provided by him on her behalf. Mr. Anthony asked that I read the statement in its entirety, which I will do now. My client has given me permission to make the following statement on her behalf. But my thing is, well, she didn't show the court though, but I guess she, she, she was too shy. But much of the story is that she claims she had a bust in lip. That's the one thing. And so forth, so forth. Hey, but I'm going to do that on next video. There was no kidnapping on Thursday, July 9th, 13th, 2023. My client did not see a baby on the side of the road. And like I was telling y'all, she, she claims she seen a baby on the side of the road. Like she was on the highway. Type shit. My client did not leave the Hoover area when she was identified as a missing person. My client did not have any help in this incident, but this was a single act done by herself. My client was not with any she wanted to go to Jansen, that's why she did that. Anyone or any hotel with anyone from the time she was missing. Oh, another thing. She went to the hotel, she claimed that two people got it. Like, it was a man and a lady. She claimed that they got her, put in the car, and went to the hotel, bitch, I don't know. My client apologizes for her actions to this community, the volunteers who were searching for her, to the Hoover Police Department and other agencies as well, as to her friends and family. We ask for your prayers for Carly as she addresses her issues and attempts to move forward, understanding that she made a mistake in this matter. Carly, again, ask for your forgiveness and prayers. We have a meeting scheduled with Mr. Anthony to further discuss this case. We're currently in discussions with the Jefferson County District Attorney's Office in Bessemer about possible criminal charges related to this case, and we will announce those charges when and if. Let me go, y'all, I'm kind of sleepy, but, um, y'all got up from the same. Oh, yeah, the charges? Shit. I'm guessing they're going to charge her for fake. Well, fake card and everything. I'm not sure, but we'll see. If they are filed. All right, with that, we'll take a few questions. As Officer Hale said, when call on you, please state your name and your affiliation. Yes, sir. Keith Mims, WAGG 610 100.1 FM Summit Media. Uh, Chief, do we at this time of the Zahula Police Department know the whereabouts of Carly Russell during that 49 uh, hour period that she was? Supposedly missing. Now, as I said the other day, was talking facts and everything. If I said anything today, it would just be speculation. Actual facts, we do not. Aaron Lula, WBC 13. Can you tell us where, or excuse me, what her motivation was for doing this, if you can? I wish I could tell you. I think only uh, Carly knows, and maybe her attorney now, but uh, again, the statement that we received from him does not indicate any. Brady Geo, WDRC, can you give us an idea of what charges you may be filing against her? 
No, that would strictly be up to the district attorney's office. David Lamb, CBS 42, can you uh, update us so that there is a meeting scheduled for this afternoon with the family, or, or no. when is that meeting for yeah. the place for the court? No, not uh, a meeting with the attorney, not the family or Carly. We have a meeting scheduled with the attorney, and that will take place some point tomorrow. See, I thought she would they would have a meeting with her because they discuss why she did that. But like me and my dad, stepdad said we were scared. She did it for attention. She wouldn't have attention. Don't get me wrong. She's a pretty female. Don't get me wrong. I might have a picture up there how she looked, but she's she's a pretty female. No meeting with Carly Russell or her family at this point. Not scheduled, no, sir. Brady Chapman with Fox Six. What's next to close this investigation? Well, again, we want to uh, talk to uh, talk to Mr. Anthony tomorrow. And, uh, and see if he has any uh, any more to discuss about uh, about the case. Uh, we'll certainly be asking if uh, if we'll get an opportunity to uh, again interview uh, Carly like we've wanted to since uh, since she returned. Chief Stephen Quinn, ABC thirty three forty. Yes, sir. Your reaction now, knowing that Carly has admitted that this was made up. Well, I'm I'm glad that we got this. You know, we uh, we certainly laid the facts out to, to the to the to the. And I'm surprised she admitted that she did do it. You know, to, to you guys and, and to the national uh, media that had a lot of interest in this particular case. Uh, uh, the, the sad thing is that, uh, again, there were so many people that, uh, that were involved, uh, took this thing very, very seriously. And, uh, and again, we wanted the focus to be bring her home. She got home. We're very excited about that. Uh, good, thing, thing, good thing is I'm glad she made it home safe. But two off the edge of the fact that why do it, though? You know, just, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, the facts, I think, last uh, Wednesday uh, pretty yeah. much showed that it's a uh, we knew that it was uh, it was a hoax. Lisa. Lisa Crane with WBTM 13. Do you know the extent you went to during this search? And if you don't have a, a dollar figure for us, just the how big it was for you guys? Well, it was uh, it was all hands on deck, and, uh, and we don't have a dollar figure yet. But uh, uh, we're, we're certainly working uh, towards getting one. And not only ours, but there'll be uh, there'll be other agencies that uh, that had a lot of a uh, lot of support that they gave us, and had monetary expenses themselves. Right here. Jonathan, uh, John, when JLR investigates, are the parents under any in, in investigation? You know, as I said the other day, uh, we were going to try to determine exactly. I think I'm not sure. I'm, I'm guessing, but I think her mom, her mother and them, was happy helping her in my. Am I ever seen? I'm not sure. I'm just guessing. But the way I'm listening to this now, it seems like to me her parents helped her. Something like that. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Those 49 hours. So right now. But I don't think that because her parents were actually looking for it. So I wouldn't know. You know, and anything's on the table. We're, we, we still don't know what happened in those 49 hours, where she was. Did she have any help? We have no idea. You know, I read the statement from Mr. Anthony. That's all. She probably did have help, though. She just don't want to admit that she did have help. But she probably paid it herself, though, so. All we know. Hey, Keith Mims, uh, uh, WAGG 16, uh, Southern Media. Chief, let me ask you this. What do you think prompted or provoked Carly to uh, do this kind of thing? And um, are there any kind of mental issues that uh, the police department or the public should be concerned about, or just what? You know, not that I'm aware of. I mean, it's, uh, uh, you know, this is a very elaborate, this was an elaborate deal. I mean, when you talk about calling a 911 and, and, and being up on the interstate, uh, uh, again, it would all be conjecture. Uh, so really, uh, I don't know. I was hoping that we'd have an opportunity to interview and we'd be able to ask, ask her those questions. Were any others involved in putting this story together for her? Uh, Mr. Anthony, uh, in his statement, says there was not. Liliana Calmey, WBRC, Fox 6 News. Um, you said that you had a meeting scheduled and it kind of switched into a statement. Did they give any type of reason that that switched? No, they did not. Back here. Uh, Aaron Lulovin, WBT 13. Uh, but just for clarification, Carly Russell is not in custody right now. That is correct. That is correct. It's sooner or later next few days, she probably will be in custody, locked up, and part of a center for years, probably. Maybe not. Last question with David. David Lamb, once again. So, first of all, when did you actually see this letter? And, and second of all, do these admissions and the content of the letter alter the investigation 
No, not at all. Uh, we'll continue to investigate. We're still trying to determine where those where she was those, during those 49 hours. But uh, I am glad that we received this. It, it at least puts uh, puts some of the social media super sleuths uh, hopefully at rest for a little bit as far as uh, what everyone the conjecture of what everybody thinks took place. Uh, we know that uh, that uh, by her own admission it didn't happen, and uh, you know we're thankful for that. All right, thank you guys very much. All I want to say is I'm glad she's safe and sound because, therefore, that's a case. Down here where I'm, where I'm from and everything, that's a whole case. You can actually go to jail for that, to be honest, because you're calling in for a fake police report. Now, you, now there's a parents in quote-unquote found you or whatever. You waited to admit that you that wasn't no kidnapping. You just want to do shit for attention. But chat, I mess with y'all. I'm gonna have to chat tomorrow later on today. I'm gonna edit this video later. I'm trying to do it tonight. But thanks for you watching y'all. Well, hey, y'all, y'all. Thanks y'all for being there for me and everything. Well, I hope y'all have a blessed night.